Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and have a very good day. This is Structural Engineering Laboratory CES 511 Bending Moment in a Beam Level 2. As an introduction, bending moments are rotational forces within the structural element that cause bending as shown in figure 1. The most common or simplest structural element subjected to bending moment is the beam. At any point within a beam, the bending moment is the sum of external forces multiplied by the distance that is perpendicular to the direction of the forces. Figure 1 shows the behavior of a bending due to the forces applied to the beam. Figure on the right showing the apparatus for the bending moment experiment in the laboratory. It consists of the roller support and pin support. It also shows the position of the load that we apply and the beam specimen. Other than that, it also shows the cut section of the beam specimen. So, based on this figure, it will show the value or we have to determine the bending moment at the cut section. Generally, the summing forces in the vertical direction and also taking moment about the cut section for the left side in order to determine the bending moment of the specimen by using moment equation and also summation of the forces. Figure 2 shows the sign convention, internal forces and moment of the beam. There are two main objectives of this experiment. First, to show that the bending moment at a cut section is equal to the algebraic sum of the forces acting to the left or right of the section. Second, to examine how bending moment varies with an increasing point load. As the learning outcome, at the end of this experiment, students should be able to determine the value of bending moment at a cut section with an increasing point load and draw the diagram of bending moment and load applied. As the problem statement, in a beam design, shear and moment curve have to be constructed in order to determine the location of and magnitude of the maximum values of these forces. The proportion of the cross section are determined by the magnitude of the maximum shear and moment in the span. Figure 2 shows the moment diagram for the simply supported beam subjected to the different load applied which is point load, uniformly distributed load and also triangular load. Now, I'm going to demonstrate on bending moment experiment for the beam. Before that, I'm going to introduce the equipment. Here is the equipment that we have in our laboratory for bending moment experiment. Consists of beam with two support and we have a load cell here and we have the cutting section here. So, here is the position of the load that we can apply and it is adjustable. Okay. Before we start on our experiment, we have to measure a few things. First, we have to measure the length of this beam between support to support. And then, the position of the load cell or the load hanger that we are going to apply is become a point load of this beam. And then, the position of this cutting section. So, now, I'm going to apply load to this equipment. So, I'm going to apply 
5 newton at point 1 and another 5 newton at point 2. So the reading here is 4.4 kN. So you have to repeat by add additional load to the specimen, okay, at least 5 times. Record and tabulate the data. Figure shows the free body diagram of the experimental setup. Based on the experiment, there is a measurement okay, of this apparatus or the experimental setup. The beam length is 950. Distance of the cut section from the left support is 600 mm. And distance of a point load A is 300 mm. But in this experiment, it is open ended laboratory level 2. Therefore, you have to find your own experimental setup that have the same behavior. For example, as shown in my video, I have two point load applied to the beam. And you may also have that kinds of applied load. So you have to record the data, which is the value of the shear force that is recorded by the digital indicator. And you have to determine your own shear force at the support A and B. Other than that, you have to determine your own bending moment at the cut section based on the experiment. In the data collection, you have to record at least 5 data in order to analyze the result. Each group is required to prepare the experimental report based on the data that you obtain from any respective references and it should follow the requirement that we need for bending moment experiment. In the analysis, you have to interpret the data and include all the analysis and calculation of the needed answer and comment on the relationship of the graph and state the relationship behavior between the bending moment and force applied. In the conclusion, you have to discuss about the finding that you found in your result for this laboratory works and it should be reflecting with respect to objective of the study. The application of the bending moment is based on the load applied to different types of structure or beam. Here are some of the example types of the beam that we have in our structural system. Different types of beam will have a different types of bending moment based on the load that we apply to the structure. For example, if we have a simply supported beam and we apply uniformly distributed load on top of the simply supported beam, the behavior of the bending moment is not same as cantilever beam and also continuous beam. Therefore, when we would like to analyze the bending moment of the beam, it is depend on the type of the beam and also depend on the load that we apply to the beam. That's it. Thank you.